Russia revealed that the mass production of the S-70 Okotnik stealth drone will start immediately after undergoing its first test flight in 2021. Russian President Vladimir Putin has called for the mass production of the S-70 Okotnik stealth drone to start in 2023. We will take the Okotnik system off the mass production line in 2023 and we will deliver it to the Ministry of Defense, said Sergei Chemizov, chief executive of Rostec, quoted by SI in the Do News for the Bulgarian military website. Sergei Chemizov said that the Okotnik stealth drone was designed to have a special ground management system that differentiated it from other combat drones. The Okotnik also uses a standard flat nozzle propulsion system and low radar visibility. The Okotnik combat drone developed by the Sukhoi Design Bureau features stealth technology and a flying wing design that reduces radar detection. According to open sources, the Okotnik combat drone has a takeoff weight of 20 tons and can fly at a speed of around 1,000 kilometers slash A. Okotnik made its first flight on 3 August 2019. The flight took just over 20 minutes under the control of an operator. On September 27, 2019, Okotnik flew on a fifth-generation Su-57 fighter. The Okotnik combat drone maneuvers in the air in automatic mode at an altitude of about 1,600 meters, and its flight takes just over 30 minutes. Mass deliveries of Okotnik drones to Russian troops are slated to begin in 2024. Russia has high hopes for the S-70 Okotnik to add to its military might. The Okotnik combat drone is now demonstratively on its way to becoming a true low observable fighter. The S-70 Okotnik stealth fighter drone flies alongside the Russian fifth generation Su-57 fighter jet. Bulgarian military Thomas Nudik and Tyler Rogaway, co-authors of The Drive, say in their article that Russia has gained experience and expects the S-70 to have a very long flight time in the air and deliver large amounts of combat cargo. The technology tested on this prototype will be used in the creation of other promising aircraft systems, both manned and unmanned, said Russian Deputy Defense Minister Alexei Kruvrichko, hinting that the design and testing of the Okotnik could inform the design of the new strategic bomber. Thank you.